Good morning, everyone. This is Brad Matheny. Today is February 6, 2024. I'm doing this special video to highlight a number of things. If you're already a Mint.com member, let me go ahead and add this here. If you're already a Mint.com member, then you're already aware of what's going on with the markets and what you should be doing. If you're not a Mint.com member, visit this website, www.mint.com. It's right here. This is the website. Uh, and check out what I do. Okay, I am a technical analyst. I've been doing this for more than 20 years. I write automated trading systems, uh, uh, AI systems, <coughs> advanced quantitative modeling systems, <coughs> and I use my own skills to determine what the markets are doing and how we should be effectively trading it. Now, a lot of talk from my members and everyone recently has been related to what's coming in the market, what's going on, and what to expect next. I just put up a brand new update last Sunday highlighting a couple of very key components to the market and what's going on. I wanted to discuss briefly the um, opportunity for the markets to move decidedly higher up over the next uh, possibly two to six plus months up into this range or this range. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a little tickle in my throat. And I'll just highlight this here and to explain that we are looking at another possible six, seven, eight percent move up. But this chart looks very complicated. It is not. The methodologies that I use are, and I'll add them here, primarily advanced modeling, Fibonacci, GAN, and uh, I basically use cycles, various types of cycles. So this is what I do to try to determine what is coming and what is next. So what we're looking at here, ladies and gentlemen, is a big move to the upside and all of these lines you see here are an adaptation of GAN. Now, I could be drawing more lines way back here, which are relevant, okay? <clears throat> and they will provide greater context and clarity as to what's actually coming. But we have a very clear price pattern, actually a quadruple um, longer term price pattern that qualified just last week. This is a weekly SPY chart. So right here, qualified just last week, that suggests that the SPY is going to move up into this 532, 533 area, and or 568 area, which is up in this area. Interestingly enough, we have a lot of GAN intersection here and down in this area, right, right about here, 562 and a half, and of course right over here, 565 and a half, and then up here, 575. <clears throat> Excuse me, that damn tickle. So, but what I wanted to highlight was we also have Fibonacci. Look at this price arc, this green price arc here. We have a Fibonacci price amplitude arc running right across the middle of the target area that we have for the SPY. And we have a second longer term price amplitude arc way out here. Now, these are heavier uh, in, in drawing. The line is, is thicker because I consider these uh, longer term outcomes like this red one here is a more predominant, more likely to change price. Uh, you can see these smaller ones here. You see how this lined up perfectly here. This was okay. This was the very tight inner circle that comes into play. Come back over here. Uh, and what we have is, move this, well, that's about as close as I can get. What we have here, folks, is a very clean upward move that is very likely to persist in some form. I will try to draw this in some form up into this area, possibly. <clears throat> now, beyond all of this, I wanted you to, to see the bigger picture. And remember, I focus not so much on the day trading, although everything that I do 
everything that I use, all of the techniques, for example, all of the uh, advanced modeling, Fibonacci, GAN, and cycles can all be applied to one minute, two minute, ten minute, five minute, whatever you want. I focus on daily and weekly, trying to help you understand what's coming and how to trade. My SPY cycle patterns, uh, which are uh, predictive modeling based on Fibonacci and GAN, um, are, are incredible. Uh, for example, yesterday it nailed the market. They have about an 80, 75, 80, 85% accuracy rate. Uh, then most people use them for day trading, the SPY. But I wanted to highlight a couple of things. So we're looking here at some lines, and let me change this one because it's too similar to the other colors. So make this a light red. Um, but how did the market know to stop right here? How did the market know to stop down here? How did the market know to stop right over here? How did it find support right across here? How did it find support right down here? Look at these levels. I mean, it's it's incredible. Now, how did it know it's going to find resistance up here? Because it, this line tells it so. And what is going on with that line? How did that line come into play? Let me try to draw this circle here. And I'll make it uh, blue and green. How did it know that it was going to stop right here? How did price actually target this level? Well, this is where GAN and Fibonacci and cycles come into play. So we had a cycle event coming up right here. You can see this line right here. Okay, this uh, kind of a, a orange line. Let me move it to the top. Um, and this is telling us that we're moving into a cycle. We also, even though we didn't know this existed yet, we had this amplitude, cycle amplitude moving um, forward. There were others in the past here, which I'm not drawing. But let's take a look all the way back to the 2009 bottom. <coughs> Using GAN, which is essentially a measurement of price peaks and price troughs, and it's important to pay attention to, to learning which ones are important and which ones aren't important, because there's hundreds, thousands of them. But understand that as we start an impulse move, let me move this over here. The way I do it, or at least the way I recommend you take a look at this, is what I call the impulse move. The impulse move is the initial rally that comes up before we get a moderately substantial pullback. Then we get the secondary impulse move, typically moving higher before we get the second major pullback. So these, this impulse move here is very, very important. Well, you want to pay attention to how aggressive this trend is moving higher and where this secondary trend is. You obviously have, you know, uh, GAN angles in here like this, and you can draw them and extend them to the right. This would be a valid GAN angle going way out into the future, maybe 2030 or what have you. This impulse move from this high to this high becomes very valid. You could also clone this, anchor this point right here again, and anchor this to the secondary peak here or here, and that would give you, again, another GAN angle moving all the way out. These are uh, future price inflection points, and what you're looking for with these angles is you're looking for multiple lines to cross and for price to target that area. So when you come into the area over here, well, let's go back to the these impulse moves and the, the first A, B, C, D correction period. These give you very defined structures that you can use <coughs> as a measurement for price. So they give you very defined initial move structures that you can use for price. Secondarily, as we move across this chart here, the next major impulse moves, which you can see <coughs> before we get a, a, a substantial pullback, occurs right here. Big rally, pullback, big rally, pullback, big rally, major pullback. So we can use all of these as well as inflection points going forward. So hypothetically, we could pick 
this as a new high coming to this we make it a, a, a dark green or dark blue green we could we could pick uh, this point here to this point here these are all valid GAN angles okay you could pick this point here across this point here you could pick this point here across this point here these are all valid GAN angles okay and what we're looking for is price inflection points out into the future but again this big impulse move is a lot of times what I like to use for the initial GAN structure so you see how everything is anchored to this point and then comes across back over here to this high right here and then some of them go on but anyway we carry it all the way forward and look at where we're at you come right back over here and this lower GAN angle supported the post COVID bottom the rally up to the peak occurred across these two GAN angles right here very solid topping formation the move down to the bottom happened right at this GAN angle here which remember this GAN angle change the color of it make it kind of a gold color look at how far back that originated that originated off of that peak and that peak telling us exactly where price was gonna potentially try to find this low now pay attention we found support we found support everything looks good we're finding great support but now what do we have we have an upper angle right over into this area 532 to call it 540 545 maybe a little higher on the SPY we have support we've broken away from this we're rallying up to this next next inflation uh, inflection point the long and short of it folks is that as long as nothing breaks this trend we are going to be moving higher based on GAN based on Fibonacci based on cycles and notice this cycle point right here this vertical line right here is telling us exactly right around April 24th we're looking at a peak potential topping pattern in the market now when I say that that's the beginning of the cycle event so what you're really looking for here folks is this topping pattern is going to occur roughly in this range so be aware that you're going to be looking for topping in this range right there that area is where likely the SPY is going to top and attempt to find some sort of resistance moving into a wave two downward correction okay guys I hope this helps remember I'm not trying to teach you all these secrets these are not necessarily secrets this is you know if you spend 10 20 years like I have digging through all of this technical analysis stuff and learning and applying it then you'll be able to see kind of what I see but because there have been a lot of questions regarding GAN and Fibonacci and and the speculative phase peak pattern and others I want you to see the bigger picture of what's actually taking place right now okay there are fundamental mechanics that are driving some of this trend for example the demand for US dollar the concern about global markets uh, melting down um, and others but mechanically mathematically we are looking at price structure which confirms a move to the uh, for the SPY up to 532 to 568 possibly higher uh, and it's likely going to come sometime between April and May maybe beyond slightly beyond May okay guys that's it talk to you later